Can you explain what a copy constructor is? Excellent question. First, it should be obvious that a copy constructor, above all else, is a constructor, of course, and its main purpose is to make copies, copies of objects. Now, there are four situations in which the copy constructor gets called. Let's list those. First of all, I'm going to call this one direct instantiation. What that means is, given some class, I'll call it ADT for abstract data type, and an object A, if you then create another object B off of A, B gets created as a copy of A, and therefore will invoke the copy constructor. That's the first situation. Now the second situation is calling a function and pass an object by value. This is very similar to the way the C language works when you pass primitive types by value. That is, a copy of the value gets made, hence the term copy constructor. In this case, the object being passed is a user-defined type, and to make a copy of that object as it comes into the function, the copy constructor gets called. Third situation is return an object by value. In other words, inside a function you have a locally declared object and you want to return it out of the function. Well, if it's auto, meaning on the stack, of course it's going to disappear. And therefore, to preserve its value, you must make a copy. So coming out of the function, the copy constructor will get called once again. Fourth situation is when you throw an object out of a function. That is the throw statement. Of course, the local de locally declared object will disappear, but to preserve its value, the compiler will again invoke the copy constructor. Now, as a footnote to these four scenarios, the third one, returning an object by value, is problematic. What does that mean? It means it may get optimized away by the compiler. For example, if you had the statement ADT and you're constructing an object X from a some function and this function returns an object by value, well, you can make the argument that since you're returning by value, the copy constructor gets called once, but how does X get created? It's really almost the same as the first situation. X gets created from the result of whatever F returns. Therefore, you could say, well, to construct X, the copy constructor gets called. That would be the second call to the copy constructor, which you have to believe is pretty inefficient. The compiler is aware of this and will discard one of the calls to the copy constructor, so you really don't have a problem. The copy constructor will get called just once, even in this situation over here. Now, if you, as the programmer, fail to write a copy constructor in your class, the compiler will supply one automatically for you, free of charge, that will do a member-wise copy of the non-static data members. This essentially just copies from the input, the original object, into the object being created member by member, and it guarantees you'll get the correct result. The big exception to that rule is when you have a pointer in the class, you may or may not be in trouble. Most likely you will be in trouble because by making a copy of the pointer's value, you will then have two pointers pointing to the same area, usually on the heap space, and that will cause you problems when the destructor gets called. More on this later. Any questions so far? No.